Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, today's video we're gonna talk about the stylish, the sleek, the compact Panasonic GX85, or GX80, depending on where you're from. Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, the Panasonic GX85, or GX80, depending on where you're from. So I've been thinking about that camera a lot lately. Why? Well, because I recently bought, purchased, the thumb grip for my Panasonic GX9, thinking that, you know, it was made for a Panasonic GX85, GX80, it's definitely gonna work on my Panasonic GX9. Well, it absolutely doesn't. Well, it does, it just covers the on-off button. Anyway, ever since then, I've been thinking about the Panasonic GX85 and why I think, in my opinion, it could be a great option for any Micro Four Thirds shooter looking to get into street photography. Now, am I gonna go out and get a Panasonic GX85 or GX80? If I see one at a rock bottom price, yeah, I might think about it. However, it's definitely not on my radar. And to be honest with you, they are quite hard to find, much like the Panasonic GX9, the Panasonic GX85, poof, there's none. And they are becoming expensive too. Back in the day, you could pick one up over here secondhand easily. $300 to $400, $500 maybe. Now they're creeping up to the $1,000 mark too. It is insane. Hello, Panasonic. If you're there, Anyway, I digress. The Panasonic GX85 could be one of the best micro four thirds cameras for street photography. You've got your awesome Panasonic GX9. You've got the Panasonic GX8. I've had that camera. That camera was awesome. I only got rid of it to upgrade to my Panasonic G9. In the Olympus camp, you've got the Olympus Pan F. Here it is over here. Great street photography camera. But the Panasonic GX85 does stand alone as a great option for street photographers. And why is that? Well, number one, it is the compact and sleek design. Tiny camera, big results. Yes, it's only got a 16 megapixel sensor, but who's counting? That 16 megapixel sensor, much like my Panasonic G85 and my Panasonic G7, I don't know, there's something about 16 megapixels the colors are through the roof. You put a Panasonic Leica lens on a Panasonic GX85, poof, awesome results. Now, unfortunately, because I don't have a Panasonic GX85, I've never even picked up a Panasonic GX85, I don't have any examples to show you. So you're gonna have to go and Google that stuff yourself or just hashtag on Instagram, hashtag Panasonic GX85, GX80. But compact design, big performance, sleek and modern, perfect for the streets. We absolutely love it, like the Panasonic GX9. People don't even know you're taking photos, it's that compact. Shoot from the hip, shoot up here, awesome stuff. It doesn't have the tilt um, viewfinder like the Panasonic GX9 does, but I don't really use that anyway. And the layout is a little bit different from my understandings compared to the Panasonic GX9. The on-off button, exposure compensation dials, I don't know, I'd have to have a closer look to it to see what the actual difference is between these two cameras in the handling and the button layout. Street photography is becoming a very, very popular genre and style of photography. And these little micro four thirds cameras are absolutely perfect for keeping up with Fujifilm and the X100V, the new X100 6. These little micro four thirds cameras are absolutely there too when it comes to image quality and performance. Another great thing about the Panasonic GX85 or GX80, depending where you're from, image stabilization. The original X100V, it doesn't have stabilization. Well, the Panasonic GX85 does, Panasonic GX9 does. 
Most Lumix cameras do have image stabilization and it is a big help. For myself, I do heavily lean on image stabilization. I definitely notice it when I go to my Panasonic G7 from using my GX9, my GH5 Mark II that's filming me right now. You know, when I use an unstabilized camera, I definitely notice it. But image stabilization is right there on the Panasonic GX85. And for an older camera, that is absolutely awesome. Other cool things like most Micro Four Thirds or Lumix cameras, the GX85 silent shooting mode on the streets. No one hears that clickety clack. Super Ninja stealth mode on the streets. Now, a lot of people have a lot of things to say about Panasonic's autofocus system. For video, yes, I get it, it's not the best. For stills photography, getting out there and doing street photography, the autofocus on the Panasonic GX85 is fantastic. Never misses a beat. Okay, another big feature of the Panasonic GX85, much like the G9, is the customization that you can do on the camera. You can set it up for your own style of shooting. Program this, program that. It's a camera that is awesome for full manual shooting. Shutter on the back, aperture on the front, dial in your ISO, you're good to go. Everything is where it needs to be on the Panasonic GX85, much like the Panasonic GX9. So you really can't go wrong. And finally, I just want to say the Panasonic GX85 or GX80, the lens options. Being a micro four thirds camera, the lens options are through the roof. You can get cheaper lenses, the 20mm f1.7, the 25mm f1.7, or Lumix lenses, awesome stuff. However, where cameras like the Panasonic GX85, the GX80 really shine, is if you were to pair them up with the Panasonic Leica lenses. Lenses like the 15mm f1.7, here it is right here. Holy moly, what a lens. I know the fella on the YouTube channel Frame Lines, he was shooting with the Panasonic GX85 and this lens and was getting some great results. I'll link that video in the description. But you pair the GX85 up with any Panasonic Leica lens, the 15mm, the 12mm f1.4, the 25mm f1.4, that 16 megapixel sensor paired up with these lenses, fantastic results. Images through the roof. And don't forget, it is also more than capable as a video camera as well, capturing B-roll on the streets, all that sort of thing. So yeah, there you have it, the Panasonic GX85. This is just a quick video. I feel as though that I am qualified to talk about that particular camera, even though I've actually never used it. I have used most other Lumix cameras. The GX9 is one of my main street photography cameras. Awesome handling, awesome results, perfect for the streets. Micro Four Thirds, you can't go wrong. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you use the Panasonic GX85 for street photography? Are you thinking about getting the Panasonic GX85? And also, if you've got a spare Panasonic GX85, send it my way. Then I'll do a real demo video. Anyway, if you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Okay, I better put the lens back on the Panasonic GX9.